Hey guys, this is a pretty neat car. Usually I don't do this kind of stuff, but RS7, super special car. And I've got my really good friend Spencer here, and he's gonna tell you kind of about three cool features about this car. Three things you probably wouldn't notice when it drives by, but let's check it out. Dude, even like this little stuff. Yeah, that's dope, isn't it? That's so sick. So we got the $10,000 Audi Sport Titanium Exhaust right here, $9,350. Okay guys, so feature number one on this car has to be the exhaust. This is a $9,350 exhaust option. It's an Alkapovic exhaust, Audi Sport Titanium exhaust system. So as you can see, it's a quad tip surrounded by all carbon fiber, and it sounds incredible. Went between shifts, when you start it up, everything. It's just such a clean sound. Really, really great. Where's the exhaust thing? So it's under drive select. So you can just go on an auto mode. You don't hear anything. It's toned down. All the gauges are just simplified. And then the second you go into dynamic mode, you just tap a button. We get our RPMs up, you get the exhaust. You hear that. Oh, don't you love that? Dude, how do, how do they do that with the windows? That's literally crazy. The second really cool feature about this car, when you open the door, you may not notice it, but if you look a little bit closer, this window is actually a, a dual pane um, glass. It's sound detonation as well, and then you can see kind of in the middle, it's got that coating on it as well. Um, not only that, but when you open and close it, it kind of goes a little bit slower towards the bottom, a little bit slower towards the top. So you don't really notice it's opening or closing. It's very, very quiet, quiet, very silent, um, and it kind of just adds to that you know, luxury in this car. My third and final favorite feature on this car has to be the LED headlights and LED taillights. Audi's kind of been the first in the industry to bring LED technology to its to the market and to their cars. They've done a really, really good job. The RS7, I feel like, showcases it really well. Uh, something that everyone doesn't really, I guess, notice first glance is Audi actually, the way they design their headlights, it's per model. So you'll have different lights for the A4, you'll have different lights for the A7, you know, so on and so forth. So all different car gets its own kind of set of, of LEDs, different headlights, things like that. So we're on auto. Um, I turned them on and put the hazards on. Let's go ahead and take a look up front. As you can see, it's all one housing, so you don't really see any kind of uh, fog lamps down below anymore. It's primarily all in this housing. Uh, this is the LED daytime running light as well as the um, turn signals. Up above here, you have a couple different uh, spaces for the LED uh, normal kind of everyday lights as well as your high beams and the fog lamps. So it's really cool um, kind of the technology that they're able to fit it all in one piece. If we go around to the back, let's check that out too. It's similar as well, so it's all LED. You can see the kind of reflectors as well light up. Got a nice little heads up display right there. God, the craftsmanship on all this carbon fiber is insane. They even thought of little drain holes for the water right there in case it rains. How genius is that? Right on the top, dual turbo. One thing I noticed is a little imperfection on that carbon fiber right there. Brand new. It just hums, do you hear that? Getting my mic all close to there. 